Orleans is a city in north-central France, about 111 kilometers southwest of Paris. It is the capital of the Loire department and of the Centre-Val de Loire region. Orléans is located on the Loire River where the river curves south towards the Massif Central. The city of New Orleans, in Louisiana, United States is named after the commune of Orléans. Geography Orléans is located in the northern bend of the Loire, which crosses from east to west. Orléans belongs to the Vallée de la Loire sector between sully sur loire and chalonne sur loire which was in 2000 inscribed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The capital of Orléans, 120 kilometers south-southwest of Paris, it is bordered to the north by the Beecher region and the Forêt de Léans and the Orléans-La Source neighborhood and the Salone region to the south. Five bridges in the city cross the river. Pont de l'Europe, Pont du Marécle Joffre, Pont George V carrying the Commune tramway, Pont Renathan 8, Pont de Vierzone. To the north of the Loire is to be found a small hill at the Pont George V, 110 meters at the place du Martois, which gently rises to 125 meters at Lac Roy Fleury, at the limits of Fleury les Aubrais. Conversely, the south has a gentle depression to about 95 meters above sea level between the Loire and the Loire, designated a zone inondable. At the end of the 1960s, the Orleans La Source Quarter was created, 12 kilometers to the south of the original commune and separated from it by the Val d'Orleans and the Loire River. This quarter's altitude varies from about 100 to 110 meters. The Loire and navigation in Orleans. The Loire is separated by a submerged dike known as the Douce into the Grande Loire to the north, no longer navigable, and the Petite Loire to the south. This dike is just one part of a vast system of construction that previously allowed the Loire to remain navigable to this point. The Loire was formerly an important navigation and trading route. With the increase in size of ocean-going ships, large ships can now navigate the estuary only up to about Nantes. Boats on the river were traditionally flat-bottomed boats, with large but foldable masts so the sails could gather wind from above the river banks. But the masts could be lowered in order to allow the boats to pass under bridges. These vessels are known as Gabara, Vetro, and so on, and may be viewed by tourists near Pont Royal. The river's irregular flow strongly limits traffic on it, in particular at its ascent, though this can be overcome by boats being given the tow. An inexplosible type paddle steamer owned by the Mary was put in place in August 2007, facing Place de la Loire and containing a bar. Every two years, the Festival de Loire recalls the role played by the river in the commune's history. On the river's north bank, near the town centre, is the Canal de Layens, which connects to the Canal du Loing and the Canal de Briar at Buges near Montargis. The canal is no longer used along its whole length. Its route within Orléans runs parallel to the river, separated from it by a wall or mure, with a promenade along the top. Its last pound was transformed into an outdoor swimming pool in the 1960s, then filled in. It was reopened in 2007 for the Fates de Loire. There are plans to revive use of the canal for recreation and install a pleasure boat port there. Climate Orléans experiences an oceanic climate, similar to much of central France. History Prehistory and Roman sea also Senabum, Aureliana Civitas. Senabum was a Gallic stronghold, one of the principal towns of the tribe of the Carnutes where the Druids held their annual assembly. It was conquered and destroyed by Julius Caesar in 52 BC, then rebuilt under the Roman Empire. The Emperor Aurelian rebuilt the city, renaming it Aurelianum, or Aureliana Civitas, city of Aurelian, which evolved into Orleans. Accompanying the Vandals, the Alans crossed the Loire in 408. One of their groups, under Goar, joined the Roman forces of Flavius Cetius to fight Atia when he invaded Gaul in 451. 
taking part in the Battle of Chalons under their king Sangiban. Installed in Orleans and along the Loire, they were unruly and resented by the local inhabitants. Many inhabitants around the present city have names bearing witness to the Alain presence. Alains. Early Middle Ages in the Merovingian era, the city was capital of the Kingdom of Orleans following Clovis I's division of the kingdom. Then under the Capetians it became the capital of a county then duchy held in appanage by the House of Valois Orleans. The Valois Orleans family later acceded to the throne of France via Louis XII then Francis I. In 1108, one of the few consecrations of a French monarch to occur outside of Reims occurred at Orleans. When Louis VI of France was consecrated in Orleans Cathedral by Dame Bert, Archbishop of Seine, High Middle Ages the city was always a strategic point on the Loire, for it was sited at the river's most northerly point, and thus its closest point to Paris. There were few bridges over the dangerous river Loire, but Orleans had one of them, and so became, with Rouen and Paris, one of medieval France's three richest cities. On the south bank the Châtelet des Tourelles protected access to the bridge. This was the site of the battle on 8 May 1429 which allowed Joan of Arc to enter and lift the city from the siege of the Plantagenets during the Hundred Years' War. With the help of the royal generals Dunois and Florent de Liers, the city's inhabitants have continued to remain faithful and grateful to her to this day, calling her La Puchelle de Lyons offering her a middle-class house in the city, and contributing to her ransom when she was taken prisoner. 1453 to 1699 Once the Hundred Years' War was over, the city recovered its former prosperity. The bridge brought in tolls and taxes, as did the merchants passing through the city. King Louis XI also greatly contributed to its prosperity, revitalizing agriculture in the surrounding area and relaunching saffron farming at Pativiers. Later, during the Renaissance, the city benefited from it becoming fashionable for rich Chatelains to travel along the Val de Loire. The University of Orleans also contributed to the city's prestige, specializing in law. It was highly regarded throughout Europe. John Calvin was received and accommodated there and in return Henry VIII of England offered to fund a scholarship at the university. Many other Protestants were sheltered by the city. Jean-Baptiste Poquelin, better known by his pseudonym Molière, also studied law at the university, but was expelled for attending a carnival contrary to university rules. From 13 December 1560 to 31 January 1561, the French States General met here. This was just after the death of Francis II of France, the eldest son of Catherine de Medicis and Henry II. On 5 December 1560 in the Hotel Grosslot in Orleans, with his Queen Mary at his side, the cathedral was rebuilt several times. The present structure had its first stone laid by Henri IV, and work on it took a century. It thus is a mix of late Renaissance and early Louis XIV styles, and one of the last cathedrals to be built in France. 1700 to 1900 When France colonized America, the territory it conquered was immense, including the whole Mississippi River from its mouth to its source at the borders of Canada. Its capital was named La Nouvelle Orléans, in honor of Louis XV as a regent, the Duke of Orléans, and was settled with French inhabitants against the threat from British troops to the northeast. The Dukes of Orléans hardly ever visited their city since, as brothers or cousins of the king, they took such a major role in court life that they could hardly ever leave. Officially their castle was that at Blois. The Duchy of Orléans was the largest of the French duchies, starting at Arpajon, continuing to Chartres, Vendôme, Blois, Vizone, and Montargis. The Duke's son bore the title Duke of Chartres. Inheritances from great families and marriage alliances allowed them to accumulate huge wealth, and one of them, Philippe Galate, is sometimes said to have been the richest man in the world at the time. His son, Louis Philippe I, inherited the Penthevere and Condé family fortunes. 
1852 saw the creation of the Compagnies Ferroviaires Paris Orleans and its famous Gare d'Orsay in Paris. In the Franco Prussian War of 1870, the city again became strategically important thanks to its geographical position, and was occupied by the Prussians on 13 October that year. The ARM IQT de la Loire was formed under the orders of General de Oral de Paladines and based itself not far from Orleans at Beecher. 1900 to present during the Second World War. The German army made the Orleans Fleury Les Aubrais railway station one of their central logistical rail hubs. The Pont Georges V was renamed Pont des Tourelles. A transit camp for deportees was built at Bonne La Rolanda. During the liberation, the American Air Force heavily bombed the city and the train station, causing much damage. The city was one of the first to be rebuilt after the war. The reconstruction plan and city improvement initiated by Jean Carousel and Jean Royer was adopted as early as 1943 and work began as early as the start of 1945. This reconstruction in part identically reproduced what had been lost, such as Royal and its arcades, but also used innovative prefabrication techniques, such as Illet 4 under the direction of the architect Paul Abraham. The big city of former times is today an average-sized city of 250,000 inhabitants. It is still using its strategically central position less than an hour from the French capital to attract businesses interested in reducing transport costs. Heraldry according to Victor Adolphe Malterbrun in La France Illustrée, 1882, Orléans's arms are gules, three chylus in Cœurs de l'Isargent, and on a chief azure, three fleurs de l'Isle, or Charlie Grand Maison, in the Dictionnaire Heraldique of 1861, states that it is, or, with three hearts in gules, without the chief of France. Sometimes, in faulty designs, we find it described, gules, three fleurs de l'Isargent, and on a chief azure, three fleurs de l'Isle, or, it is to be noted that the design shown left shows three, cœurs de l'Isle, seen from above. This, cœurs de l'Isle, is therefore not a true lily, which would have six tepals, but a hypothetical aerial view of a symbolic lily. It has probably also been stylized more and more in heraldry, as in the heart in a pack of cards. Certain authors solve the problem by calling this symbol a tears fully, defined as a stemless clover leaf, with one leaf at the top and two below, thus making this coat of arms, gules, with three reverse tears foy in argent, etc. Motto, hoc vernant lilia corda, meaning, it is by this heart that lilies flourish, or, this heart makes lilies flourish, referring to the fleur de lys, symbol of the French royal family. Transport. Public transport how manages buses and tramlines in Orleans. The first tramline was inaugurated 20 November 2000. The second was inaugurated 30 June 2012. Two SNCF stations. Fleury Les Aubrais in Orleans Centre Roads and Highway Orleans is an autoroute intersection. The A10 links to the commune outskirts, and A71 begins here, heading for the Mediterranean via Clermont-Ferron. A10 highway from Paris to Bordeaux. A71 highway from Orléans to Bourges. A19 highway from Sens to Artney. National Row 20 from Paris to Spain. Railway Orléans is served by two main railway stations. The Central Guard Orleans and the Gare des Aubrais Orleans, in the northern suburbs. Most long distance trains call only at the Les Aubrais Orleans station, which offers connections to Paris, Lille, Tours, Brive, La Gaillarde, Nevers, and several regional destinations. People. Orleans is the birthplace of Patrick Barrel, football player. Joely Bellica, basketball player, Raoul Blanchard, geographer, Jean-Baptiste Marc Borgery, anatomist, Philippe Charnlot, football player, Marion Cotillard, actress, is not born in Orleans, but she grew up in this town, Etienne Dalt, scholar and printer, Albert Gombeau, neurologist, 
Jacques Guillemieu, physician, Gaston Delis, sculptor, Isaac Jogues, Jesuit missionary, Stanislas Julian, orientalist, Gustav Lanson, historian, Damien Mayinga, football player, Yvonne Moyo, football player, Charles Pegai, poet and essayist, Antoine Petit, physician, Robert Joseph Pothier, jurist, Lamin Sam, basketball player, Yasina Seen, basketball player, Jean Zay, jurist and politician.